first grade, it is time for Number Corner. And if you take a look at yesterday's card, we decided that the peanut butter jar was a cylinder. So remember that in December, we are going to be studying 3D shapes. And we said that a cylinder was a shape that had the round middle and the two faces on the end were flat. Okay, and that matched our peanut butter for December 1st. Today is Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020. And let's take a look at today's calendar card. Today's calendar card is a box of crayons. So we have to decide, is a box of crayons a cylinder? Is it a rectangular prism? Okay, where the rectangular prism has six faces and they're all rectangles. Okay, is it a sphere? No edges, just all round. Or is it a cube where every face is a square? Okay, so we have to decide. Let's take a close look at our box of crayons. Now I can tell that the front of the box and the sides, okay, they are rectangles, right? Because there's two short sides and two long sides. So our box of crayons is a rectangular prism. So we're going to write that for today's date, which is 12-2 December 2nd. I'm going to come over here to rectangular prism and write box of crayons. I moved our today's date um, sheet over here um, just because you'll see I had to add something new to December number corner. So today's date is December 2nd, 2020. And if I want to write that as a digital date, I would write the month is 12, the day is 2, and the year is 20. So that's today's date. All right, so now I'm going to switch us over here and you will be noticing something new that we'll talk about. Um, so first, let's talk about how many days we've been in school. And I want to show you on our days of school chart here, here's our 100 chart. We have filled in half of our 100 chart. So we know that half of 100 is 50. So if we just kind of would cover that up, okay, I'm just gonna put a little tack there. So if we color up half of our 100 chart and we just look at the second half that we're trying to fill up, right, this 50, because we have 50 plus this 50 will equal 100. So we can already say that we have 50 days we can add one more for today. So we can count 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. So we've been in school for 58 days. So I want you to think for a second. When I take this off, if I know this is 50 because it's half of our 100 chart, do I have to count by tens anymore? Not really. I can be able, I should be able to just count 50 and then count on. If you still need to count by tens, you can do that. But I'd like you to try to start seeing like that this is a full 50 here and then just be able to count on. Just like this is half two, right? So there's the bottom half, here's the top half. So of this 10 stick, half is already colored in. Half of 10 is five. So you can really count on that way too. 50, 
55, 56, 57, 58. Or you may know that 5 and 3 makes 8. So you can count 50, 8. Okay? Just a different way to start looking at our 100s chart. So if we are going to um, talk about 58 days in school, we would say we have five groups of 10 and we have eight ones, okay? 50 plus eight, okay? If we wanted to do that with tally marks, we would go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? 50, the five goes across and then eight ones, five, and three more also makes 58. All right. So our calendar collector, we're collecting hours for every day that we're in school. So today's another day that we're in school. So we are going to color from seven o'clock plus one more hour is eight o'clock. Good. So I'm gonna color in one more hour And then I'm going to move my hour hand from the seven to point at the eight, okay? Because the hour hand is the small hand, the short hand, that points to the hour. The minute hand, since we're saying it's o'clock, is going to stay up on the 12. So our hour comes first and that's eight and that's pointing right on the hour. Our minutes are o'clock. It's up on the 12, so it's eight o'clock. And we can add that with our analog time and our digital time. Okay, so we need to add another hour <clears throat> down here. And we have one, two, three, four more hours before we reach a full 24 hours. So I get to circle 20. We've already done 20 days of calendar collecting for our hours. Okay, so we're on 20. We're getting to close to midnight, eight o'clock p.m. Um, should be bedtime. And so if you're thinking about p.m., Okay, that's afternoon into the evening, right? So eight o'clock p.m. is going to be around bedtime. All right, we'll add that to our number line here. And now what I want us to do is I want us to take a look at these cards. Just wanna make sure that you can get a really good look at them. Okay. So this is a double 10, 10 frame. So right, here's a 10 frame and here's a 10 frame. So we call that a double 10. And what we're doing with our double 10, um, 10 frames is we're going to be looking at pairwise. And if you remember, I said that pairwise is when the dots are on top of each other, right? Like a pair, they go together. So I want you just to take a minute and think about the observation that you can make when looking at these cards. So just take a second to look at them. Think about what you might be noticing. Okay. You might be noticing that the first 10 frame is all filled in, right? The black dots, so we have 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, right? That first 10 frames all filled in. Now, if you take a look at the second 10 frame, okay, the first card, there's nothing in that second 10 frame. So we just have 10, okay? But if we want to look pairwise, here's a pair, here's a pair, here's a pair, Here's a pair and here's a pair. So let's count by twos and see how many we have. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We have five on top and five on the bottom. 
So if I want to make that into um, a number tree, I would write that <clears throat> 10 is my total, and then I make my little tree, and I'm going to put how many I have on top and how many I have on the bottom. Well, I have five on top and five on the bottom. So those two are going to go together. Okay, I want you to start thinking about doubles and then the extras. So here is our double 10 frame for this one. Okay, so how many do we have? You might see five and one, right? Five and one is six, five and one is six. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Six and six, that's our double. So on my number tree, I will write 12 on top for my total and I have six and six. That's a double. You're also noticing these are even numbers. Okay, we did some work with evens and odds yesterday with your number rack. They're even because they have a pair, they have a match. Okay, so take a look at this card. Look and see what you have pairwise. Every dot has a pair, so that means it's even. And if we count by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. You might know this is 14 because you know five and two is seven. Seven and seven is a double. Seven and seven makes 14. 14 is your total. Seven on top, seven on the bottom. Okay, that's a double. Five and two, five and two, okay? Let's take a look at the next card. Okay, let's take a look and count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. We're counting pairwise. 16 is an even number. Every dot has a match, has a pair. So on top, we have five and three. Five and three is eight. So we have eight and eight, okay? Eight plus eight is a double. So we have 16 total, eight on top, eight on the bottom, okay? All right, let's take a look at our next card. Okay, let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. You may have guessed that was coming next because we've been adding two more with every card. Okay, so let's think about what our double is. Okay, we have five and four. Well, five and four is nine. So we have five and four on top, five and four on the bottom. So we have nine and nine. That's our double fact. So we have 18 total, nine on the top, nine on the bottom. That's our double. All right, last, last one. And you may have predicted what this one would be because we're adding two more to every card. Let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So let's look for our doubles. Five and five makes 10. Five and five, 10 more. So our double is 20 is our total. We have 10 on top, 10 on the bottom. So that's our number tree. So remember when you're looking at numbers pairwise, that means they're on top of each other, right? And we're looking for the doubles. So we can easily see nine and nine. Okay, that's a double. Nine plus nine is 18. 
So just another way for you to be looking at facts um, and numbers is looking pairwise and also looking for numbers, little numbers inside of big numbers. So if you knew inside this big number, you saw seven and seven. And if you know your double facts, that's going to help you when we do some harder addition. All right, so this is new for today. I'm going to keep this up um, and you can check it out and maybe think about what the next pattern might look like. So that's number corner for today.